It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild... PSG. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild here with PSG and the Champions League final. Today we'll be taking on AS Monaco and um, yeah, that's all we really will have in this episode. Now, as we do always on this channel when we play the Champions League final, you will get it in its entirety, the first and second half. Uh, full commentary, all that, no highlight package in this one. We are going to go all out and... Uh, show you pretty much everything that goes on within a game. So uh, sit back, relax, maybe get a drink and um, get ready for this Champions League final. Now this isn't the final episode, we'll have one more after this. Uh, we've got the, the Coupe Nationale or something still to play and uh, do a full wrap up and, and see how the squad is travelling and all that kind of stuff in a proper series finale. But for now, we've got the Champions League final uh, win or lose this is it, this will be the final season. So let's jump into it, the Champions League final. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. AS Monaco and PSG at the uh, Johan Cruyff Arena that is in uh, Amsterdam. Um, is that the Ajax home ground from memory? But um, yeah, look at this squad. It's, it's absolutely surreal that after eight seasons, We've managed to build a superstar team. And there's only two regents here in the starting lineup in Rodriguez and Fail, who is a 92 rated right back. Other than that, they're all youth academy prospects. Arnaz, our scout future star, at a 95 overall. Hopefully, he can have a big impact today here in the Champions League final. But without further ado, let's get into it and see if we can lift this coveted trophy. The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the big one, the Champions League final. Eight seasons to bring PSG out of the dundrums of uh, a big, big debt. We've paid it off. We've built a team, and here we are to take on AS Monaco. It's an old French final. I'm not sure there's ever been one in history, but PSG taking on AS Monaco here for that big trophy, the Champions League title. Who will beat the top of Europe? We've done it quite convincingly. 3-1 Barcelona, 6-3 AC Milan, and 6-2 over Everton. And, uh, well, will AS Monaco, and they've been pretty decent during the season on the simulations, and... Um, well, can we get the job done? That is the main question. AS Monaco, we haven't seen what they've been about all season, but we face them here in adversity in the Champions League final. We're probably the better side on paper, you'd feel, as uh, we have built a superstar squad. But who knows what AS Monaco have got up their sleeve. It's a Champions League final. Nothing is going to be left uh, unanswered here from both sides. We're going to throw it at them, everything we have here nice and early, and hopefully get off to a nice lead, a big campaign has been put out here. Uh, unfortunately, you know, for the relegation region rebuild series, it's been quite accelerated, but it's the way it had to happen. And well, fuck me, eight seasons of simulations. We've probably built one of the best squads we've ever seen on this channel. And uh, the scout future star in our nays is probably one of the best players we've ever seen since the likes of Trahore Kone back on FIFA 15. This man here leading this squad is something sensational. And if he can pull the cat out of the bag today, we will be right in a prime position. Here is the Monaco side. Uh, not really a lot of names in here. Asenio is the goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, Sabellis is in there. Okay. Diop. Not sure. Defray. The centre back's probably decent. Um, and other than that, a lot of names that I have no idea who they are. A similar formation to what we are playing here today. We go with Ricardo Rossi between the sticks, Schulte, Ribeiro, Arnaiz, Barbier, and they're not giving me enough time to see all the names on this list, but um, it's, it's a name, it, it's a formation and, 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 a, and a rotation that you guys have grown to know over this uh, series. So here we go, the first half kicking off. Mabula plays it off to Sabalas. And decide to retreat to the fry. We're going to have to concentrate and try and commentate. Osgovoc. We're going to murder names, that's for sure. Arne's trying to put a bit of pressure on his Diop. Arne's in there sniffing around. He wants a piece of this ball. Cissé can't get in there. 
comes inside, short up, gets the clearance, here's Fail, it's a rough touch, Sabellas plays it off, we need to be careful defensively, Ribeiro holds him up at the pass, here's Lewis down the line, Mavola plays it inside, and Rodriguez there with the clearance, and feed it out, and Monaco will get another chance here through Adams, finds it off to Havertz, Havertz looks inside, Mavola shoots, oh my days, it's 1-0 AS Monaco, well they've had control in the opening five minutes, and they've got themselves a lovely goal, and that puts us instantly on the back foot. Well, we look to control the space, but it wasn't good enough. And it's a lovely finish past Rossi. 1-0 here to AS Monaco in the Champions League final. PSG have barely had a sniff thus far. Rossi nowhere near that one. That was just a nice little finish to the bottom left pocket. And that makes it 1-0 to AS Monaco. A lot of work to do now. We need to find our way back into the game. Jordi Mabula gets the goal. His fourth in the competition in the sixth minute. We're back to the middle for the kickoff. Amaral plays it off for Arne. He'll get a decent touch now. Tries to come through, does well. Does his man in again. Feeds this one off. Jesus slips it out wide. Here's Cissé. Comes back inside, lays it off. No, picked out. Out to fail. We don't want to fail today. Lays it inside for Arne. Here's Barbier. He set something up. No, they're just controlling that space. Ribeiro plays it forward, here is Pedro. And he sets something up, works his way in, no, picked off. Oskovic, Gafrani with the clearance. And it will be a throw in here for PSG, 10 minutes gone in the Champions League final. Here's Jesus. Barbier decides to retreat for Ribeiro. He brings it inside, but Savalas picks that one off. And that's Monaco, can go into cruise control, although Cassell gets the steal. Lays it out in front, Arnaiz does well, flicks on, finds Amaral, who shoots and puts it in the stands. Our first shot of the game is sprayed by Amaral. We'll need to do a lot better than that. He just took a quick first time strike, but completely off target. And a goal kick now for Monaco. Craig now the keeper here today. Plays it out short, flicked on. Amaral, can he get in here? Trying to get on the defense. We're just happy to hold possession here, Monaco. Ceballos, in the middle, Adams, Arnaiz gets in the way, Amaral gets on his bike, but the ball seemed to be falling the way of Monaco. And Zeus gets in, makes a good challenge, a throw in for Monaco. Ozovic plays it down, Diop, to Ozovic, Diop, Ceballos, he just can't get a touch of the ball here. Monaco with the possession. Oskovic takes it out wide. Cissé tries to corral him in another throw in for AS Monaco. He goes deep to his defensive line. Diogo late. On Ceballos to Adams. Amaral tries to come across. Mabula back to Adams. He has got some work to do here. Tries to corral his man down the line. Ribeiro needs to cash in. Rodriguez plays it off. Arnaiz goes for the clearance. And here's Amaral with a bit of space. He'll fire forward and ask for a run here from Cissé. Has he got the pace now, Cissé? Drives the line to the corner store, cuts back. He'll look inside here. He's got Cassell. Oh, that one is picked out again by Monaco. Adams clears away, Mabula will come out. He comes out wide to the wing. Barbier trying to close the space. Quick one-twos there between the defensive line. Havertz comes forward. Barmier, good touch. Ribeiro clears it off here for Pedro. He gets a run from Rodriguez. Rodriguez has fail out wide. Decides to go to Cissé instead. Now back to fail. And down the line for Cissé. He'll look inside this time. Deep for Cassell. Picked out again. Cassell needs to get himself into this game. Havertz through the middle to Carlos Fedez. Out wide, Sabellos back through the middle. Here comes AS Monaco again. Rodriguez tries to put the pressure on. Through the middle is Adams. Barbier with some work to do. They play it forward. Here's a man all free. Ribeiro, big challenge, and fires it forward for Barbier. Can we find some counter-attack football? Barbier down the line. He'll need to slam it on for Cassell. Here is Cassell. Slips it off for Amarel. Needs to get in the game. DeFry has him covered. And there is a free kick for AS Monaco. 27 minutes gone here. And Amaral getting himself a yellow card now. And he'll need to be on his best behaviour. Still early stages of this game. Arnais just has a quick word to the referee and says, Come on, mate. Settle down. Barely touched him. He's got himself a yellow. So 28 minutes. Can PSG find something here? Amaral, the interception. Picks it off. Finds Cassell. He'll play it off. Pedro Jesus. Can he find something? Slips it through, no, picked out. Sabias clears it away. He'll be out for a throwing for PSG. 
Half an hour gone here. And that is a really poor throw in. Tobias has the ball, finds Adams. They come through the middle again, then out wide to the wing to Lewis. Selk gets in and lays a challenge. It'll be a free kick on the play. And the referee is quite soft. Adams is on quickly. Tobias through the guts. Havertz through the middle. Carlos Fidesz back to Tobias, back to Havertz. Out wide now. They get a runner from the winger in Diop. Fail gets around. Barbier, good touch. Sees how play forward. Looks for Arnais. Picked off by Adams. Arnais, good touch. Spits out the back door. We need to find some sort of momentum in this game. Completely on the back foot at 1-0 down. Adams out wide to Diop. Gets around. Fail. Rodriguez will need to do some work here. Havertz plays it back off for Diop. They're trying to get the cross in. Here it is. Big shot up. Has that one covered. Barbier will push on forward. Plays it out wide. Ribeiro needs to slam it down the line quickly for Cassell to get a run on. Here is Cassell. He'll come back inside. He'll look for Amaral. Oh, that one's picked out again. They're just marking our forward so closely. We really haven't had any real key opportunities in this one. Bula lays it off. Habits. Cassell can't get in there again. Yes, Monaco have really controlled this first half. Come on, boys. Bula with a quick cut back. Does leave Cassell for dead. They come through the middle. Jesus gets the touch and here's Cissé. Can he create something? He'll cut through the deck. Plays it out wide. Cassell's almost out of juice already. He needs to cut back inside. Lays it off. And here is a strike from Cissé that's blocked by the defence. Cleared away for a throw in for PSG. 42 minutes gone. And Roberto Aguano just wondering what he can do to spur this team on. Arnaiz finds Cassell. Gets rinsed by Lewis. And uh, PSG just looking a little flat here. It's a Champions League final. But they have not shown up. 44 minutes gone, encroaching on half time down the line. Comes the wing back, plays it inside. Rodriguez, a bit of clearance here. Barbier plays forward. Arnaiz flicks it off. Pedro, oh, that one's picked off. He'll get another crack at the cherry. Here's Arnaiz. He slips something through. He can. He finds Cissé. A little bit of trickery. Does well, Cissé. Still pushing forward. Can he find something? Lays it inside for Amaral and it's a goal! Gets hit! Equaliser just before half time. Cissé with a little bit of candy. Finds Amaral in injury time in the first half. And what a time to score. The big Brazilian has done the job. And that could change the momentum of proceedings going into the second half. Oh, well, we just push forward. It's just been constant pressure coming from PSG to try and find an opening. C says, cool as you like, slips it off, and a quick time finish from Amaral. Keeper, no chance on that one. And it is 1 1 here on the day. Champions League final is alive. And Aguano loves the finish. He loves a goal. We know that's 1 1 in this all French Champions League final on the cusp of half time. Back to the middle for the kickoff. Habits to Adams, there won't be much. There is the whistle with a good time to score from Amaral. And a big second half coming up here for PSG. Well, half-time stats, it's one goal apiece, three shots to one. It's been quite a midfield tussle. Two shots to one on target. Possession has been controlled in the midfield here by AS Monaco. Five tackles to three, we've given away two fouls, and Amaral has himself a yellow card. A big second half coming up here. Can PSG come over the top to get the Champions League victory? Let's get in to the second half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for the second half. Can PSG get the job done here in regular time? Arnais quickly off the ball, flicks it on. Here's Pedro, plays it forward. Arnais has let that one straight, oh, Amaral, should I say, has let that one straight through the gate. Here's Lewis down the line. Ribeiro gets in, makes a challenge, and will get a throw in. Finds Barbier, back to Ribeiro, slams it down the line. Quick ball here. Here is Cassell, who look for a cross inside. He's gone very deep. And, uh, well, Cissé caught in the air. Kind of like a, uh, a Titanic scene, if any of you have seen one. Here's Amaral. Cassell looks for Arnais, who was caught napping. Here's Monaco out through Osgovic. Amaral flicks it forward. Can Cissé get out here in time? And it will be a throw in, but it's for AS Monaco. Diego late. Balas 
Vucevic. Both teams really need to have a crack now. The last thing we need is for Amaral to be sent off, but here's to Fry. Just trying to work their way out of the back is AS Monaco. And here we go. Adams through the middle. Barbier, can he get in there? No. Picked out. The bullet. They've been chatting about him, the commentators. Lewis fires forward. There's Habits inside. Fail. Just chips it over the top of it. And that is out for a throw in. AS Monaco putting the pressure on here again. Out Ceballos. Comes fail with him. And look for a cross. No, plays it back off. And here comes the cross. Rodriguez. Arnaz tried to flick it out. And now he does get one out the back door for Cassell. Gets around his man Cassell. Pushes on forward. Cissé's making a run out wide. It's a poor pass. It's a very poor pass. Mabula has Arnaz all over him like a cheap suit. Here is Lewis. Ribeiro gets in there and cleans it up at the back. A throw in now as they make a substitution. And they bring uh, someone on. Don't know who that is. But uh, he's checked in for AS Monaco. Lewis to Adams. Yop is the man that's been checked out. Bula. There's Barbier with him. Get around once again. And a good block from Ribeiro. And now we're gone here in the Champions League final. And it will be a corner coming up for AS Monaco. Made it short. So Bias then goes long. And Arnaz with a clearance out wide. Is Cassell who just decides to bomb it long and buy us some time and that's probably going to go out for a throw in unless uh, the boys can get there in time it is Adams with the throw in gets it back with a quick one too Ceballos is Amaral with him but can't get the challenge and there is a free kick on the plate and uh, luckily Amaral not sent off there Ceballos Ozevich through the middle to Havertz down the line. Munas is the man that's been checked in. Fail does get the touch. Tried to find Cissé. He's been picked off. And AS Monaco are running the rings. And they come again. Ceballos. It's a big final. It's a big final. Someone needs to get in here and do something. Barbier flicks out the side. Munas again brings it forward. Crying our defensive line open. Habits fires inside. And here is Rodriguez. Decides to go for a long searching ball here for Cassell. Gets the header. Finds Arnaz. Can he get the flick on? No. Adams is there to clear it up at the back. And uh, Ceballos will pass this one out wide. Lewis down the line. The ball up. Adams. Amaral, be careful, mate. Lewis down the line. We need to be careful. Ribeiro doesn't have the pace to cut this one off at the pass, but Schulter will be there. Play forward. Amaral should win the header, and he does. Cissé with a quick touch, picked off by Ozevic. Good from Cissé. Plays it through, but that one's picked down again. Come on, Pedro. Lead out. Ozevic plays inside. Rodriguez will go for the big clearance. He's found Amaral. He needed to flick it on. The boys just look a little bit overwhelmed here by this Champions League final at the moment. Fail, does well. We need Arnaz to get into this game. Here's Cassell. He's picked out as well. There's just no time on the ball here for PSG. And here's Monaco starting to find a few little gaps in our defence. Big throw, Rodriguez. Good from Ribeiro. Holds him up. Don't give away the penalty. Ball lays off. Good block from Fail. Can I get the clearance? And that is out. Right, Monaco making a change. Ahulu is checked in for Ceballos. And we're going to make two changes here. Cassell will be checked out for the American George Olsen. And Pedro Jesus will be checked out for David. We need to get a little bit more attacking, a little bit more aggressive. Hopefully we can find a winning goal here. 12 minutes to go. Goal kick for Rossi. And Rossi drives it long. Emerald does get a header. And there is Olsen. Plays it inside, finds David. Fresh legs on the pitch. Cuts back nicely, David. Lays it off. Here is Arnaz. He's inside and it's a good block. We'll get a corner. Arnaz taking a red hot crack at it. Cissé, set piece. Amaral. Get in there. Here is Cissé again. Flicks it on forward. Picked out again. Rodriguez. Schulter. Finds David. Can't lay it off. Picked out. Here comes Monaco. 
line. It's just tense midfield action, to be fair. Not a lot of shots in this game. Good from DeVette. Amaral trying to lay it off quickly. Picked out. Renee's, would he be the seal? Will he be the man to get the all-important winning goal here? Goalkeeper doesn't know what to do with it. Played long now. Vit misses out. Everyone just really unsure about themselves now. Late stages, four minutes to go. This one's looking like it will be extra time. Unless AS Monaco can come up with a winner, they're really happy on possession here at the moment. It's unbelievable. I think that they'd be going hammer and tong looking for some sort of opening. And they're happy just to pass it around the back. Now they push forward. Come on, boys. Dig in. It's passing game. Good from DeVette. Olsen. Fire forward. DeVitt might get a run on here if he's lucky. No, nope. to fry there to pick it off. We just haven't had that run and attack that we've had all season. Arnaiz. DeVitt. Olsen. Arnaiz can't get through again. I know he is the star of this team and they're... Marked him so close, he's really not had the impact we were looking for. And there is full time. We will go to extra time now in the Champions League final. Well, the full time stats after 90 minutes. AS Monaco didn't have a shot in that half, but increased their possession to 63%. They're just happy to hold on to it, which is quite surreal. PSG just need to find an opening here, but the boys are starting to tire. Hopefully, in extra time, we can find a goal and not have to go to penalties. Let's get in to extra time. Well, here we go. Extra time deadlocked at 1 1. No goals in the second half, and Arne starting to run out of juice. We've got one substitution up our sleeve. And AS Monaco just happy with this possession game, but it's played into their hands thus far. They might be happy if we do go to penalties. This one's played forward. Rodriguez goes for the clearance. It's going to come back in now through Adams. DeVitt needs to do some work. Ball up, gets around. Ribeiro, here comes the ball inside. Barbier is there. DeVitt with the clearance. Here's Arne. Shoots it out the back door for George Olsen. Olsen will cut through the middle. Doesn't really have a lot going for him. Fail can play this one forward for Cissé. Cissé pushes down the line. Can he find the right cross? He's gone deep for Amarel, who cannot get there. George Olsen in pursuit. He'll cut back. He'll fire it down the line. Ribeiro has men. In the middle, here is Arnaiz. Can he set something up? Trying to find something, but he's absolutely juiced. Come on, lad. Be the hero. Lewis now. Back to possession football for Monaco. We need to make the most of us having these opportunities. But they're going to have a red-hot crack eventually, you'd feel. Barbier putting some pressure on now. Tries to get a tackle in. Olsen, turn around, mate. What are you doing with your life? Come on, boys. Gets into the game. Here they come now. Pushing forward. Here is the overlap. Lewis gets through. Schulter. Big fucking tackle from Schulter. Arnaiz. Can he set something up? No. Picked out as well. Oh, the defence are both holding true here at the moment. Can someone break the deadlock? Rossi. Long ball forward. No one out there. Arnaiz is dead on his feet, but... He's the inspirational leader of this team, and we need him out there. Last thing we need is an injury, though. Come on, boys. Dig in now. What is this passing game from Monaco? How can you be that happy just to control possession? Laporte has checked in. We're trying to get on the ball, but no one can get close enough. What is this passing game from Monaco? And there is the first session done in extra time. Another 15 minutes to go. Well, 15 minutes to go, we've made one change there on the break. And that is PC Mock checking in for Cissé on the outside. He'll get a touch here. Fresh legs down the line. Can he find something inside? No, that one's cleared away again. Come on, PSG. Find a goal here. Through the middle. Mock in pursuit. Bale misses a challenge. He might be done here. Oh, look out. They've done me defensively. Oh, lovely from Fail. Mock plays on. Here's De Vitt. He fires one, but that is picked out by De Fry again. He's been very good on the intercepts. De Vitt gets in, lays this one off. Here is George Olsen. Can he create something? Tries to cut back inside, lays it forward. Here's Amarel. Finds PC Mock, who pulls the trigger, and it's a good save from Cragnell. A corner coming up for PSG. 
need to find something on this set piece. Mock the man to deliver. He's just going to pop it into the middle. Punched out by the keeper. Here is Arnaiz. He's absolutely fingered. Can he find a goal? Oh, yes, he can! Fucking Arnaiz! Get in, my son! Well, he was absolutely dead. He had nothing left in the tank. But the inspirational captain has stood up here in the Champions League final. He could barely move. He's running on empty. And he smacks it home. It's 2-1 PSG. Big goal from the captain. Fucking come on. Oh, we've waited an eternity for it. The keeper guessed. He fell short. And Arnaiz puts us in the lead. It's 2-1. Get in there, PSG. Oh, it's a beautiful finish from Arnaiz. 2-1. Woo! Seven minutes to hold on here. And will there be another twist in this Champions League final? Monaco can't sit back on possession now. They're going to have to attack. Fail gets in and makes the steal. Does well. Pushes his way forward. Flicks it out wide. There's PC Mock. He's trying to get forward again. PC Mock will look inside, he's gone deep for Olsen, plugged out the back, and punched forward. Ribeiro, we just need to hold some possession now. Here's De Witt, plays it out, gives it away. Adams now, plays it off, Selkie. Havertz, out wide, we can't get caught out wide on the counter. The ball up, there's Ribeiro. Here comes the ball inside, big shoulder, has played that one up. Lewis lays it out, here's a strike, wow! Adams just wide. Oh, big, big opportunity there for AS Monaco. And Ace was already pushing forward. You need to mark your man, sir. I don't care how dead you are. Have a fucking Gatorade. You've got a kick out. And Rossi's just going to take this one long. Long bomb. Amarel finds Mock. Chips it forward. There's Arnaiz in the box. Oh, he's read a red-hot crack with some sort of trickery, even this late in the game. We just need to push. Devitt holds it up, and there it is! Well done, PSG. Well, a tough encounter. But Champions League winners in extra time. And it's our nays with a banger in 113th minutes. We get ourselves the all-coveted Champions League trophy. Amaral with a tight goal just before halftime to get us back in. A stalemate in the second half. Nothing in the first period of extra time. And then Arne's absolute clutch goal gives us a Champions League title. Eight seasons to build this team. And finally, we make the Champions League final. And we do it 2-1 in extra time over AS Monaco. The All-French final. Well, we've brought PSG back from the brink. And they're back to the top of world football. And Arnais, well, wouldn't he be fucking happy about lifting this cup? He's lifted a few trophies. Holy shit, look at the size of that thing. Absolutely electrifying. This guy is going to go down on the history of this channel. That is for sure. Fabio Arnais. What a scout future star. What a player. What a man. And what a captain. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Champions League is in our hands. One more trophy to have a crack at to finish off this wonderful career mode. I mean, it's been accelerated, but we've got to know and love a lot of these players. And now we get to see them lift that Champions League trophy. A big day for Paris Saint-Germain. Fabio Arnaiz. Well, some of these lads have just really stood up when required. Schulter had a very good game at the back. Thought Ribeiro was exceptional. Fail did a very good job. Barbier and Jesus set it up early in the midfield. But here we are. Champions of Europe. PSG. Well done, lads. Well, a quick recap on the match facts. And uh, Monaco had a few shots there in extra time. 62% possession. They were happy to hold onto the ball, but 13 big tackles there from PSG. Seen us get a few opportunities. And Arne is coming through with the winning goal in the uh, 113th minute. Player ratings wise, well, Sianka Singse on the bench gets uh, the man of the match with an 8.4. I don't know, maybe got himself an assist. 
Yes, he did, but uh, a, a very interesting game, a tough game, which is always good to see. It would be like that all uh, career mode. That would be a, a, absolutely fantastic. But uh, we get the job done. Well done, PSG. And um, a very good effort indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there will be one more episode after this. We are taking on Gringam in the, uh, the Coupe Nationale final. Now, this is the team that's got Mbappe. He's been there for eight seasons. He's 95 rated. Really doesn't have a lot going on around him. A 67 left back. So uh, I think this might be a little bit easier. But Mbappe has torn us up in the past. And at 95 rated, we're still going to have to keep an eye on him. That will be in the series finale coming up in the next episode. Right, and that is where we finish today's episode. Just the Champions League there for you. A 2-1 victory over AS Monaco. Another tick for this career mode. And we will wrap things up in the next episode. We will see you then. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help uh, you know the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notification bell. We'll see you next time.